hello and welcome to episode 5 of Games Revisited. We are currently going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and it seems like it is ever more timely that we did so. Uh, let me log in and get the background music uh, going. I do have some news to follow up on from between the last one and this one. But uh, basically, in the last Chord Killers, they mentioned that there might be a new trilogy in the works based on Knights of the Old Republic. That potentially could be awesome. All right, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and switch that over real quick. Okay, and the news is I finally, uh, it took me a little while, but I ground out and defeated Starkiller. I mentioned I was going to do that off camera between the last stream and this one. Finally got that done. Finally got that win. Uh, almost by strange coincidence, I have no grenades left and a couple less uses on my Sith energy shield. Like, ooh, uh, I got one. <laughs> I got one more use left. Oof. Uh, guess I'll have to beat up some more Sith for uh, some energy shields. All right. So, now that you know, now that you're kind of caught up on what's been going oh, on, uh, the more immediate what's been going on, that uh, we, we finally won our gladiatorial fight. It's time to go collect some rewards. Hello, Mr. Hutt. Bendex Starkiller is dead! He never loses until he does. <laughs> yeah, it looked a lot like somebody chucking a ton of grenades, didn't it? Alright, uh. Hmm. Hmm. Glad you enjoyed it. Where's my share of the purse? Uh, I know, I know. Living legend. What about my cut? Hmm. I really want to be that kind of wise guy. But I'll, I'll be nice. Now this is what I was after. Well, the credits too. But the main reason why I really wanted to grind this out instead of just skipping it and moving on is that when you defeat Bendex Starkiller, you get his blaster pistol as a bonus. And I'm not going to try to persuade, because we've seen how well that works out. All right, everyone, I'm talking about you now. Uh, you're famous now. You're an all-star. Get your game on. Uh, no. All right, and I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of episodes when I beat Twitch over there, I mentioned that I was not going to pick up his reward because there's apparently a bug in the game and it's still there after all these years that if you don't collect the reward from Twitch between finishing off Twitch and starting the thing with Bendak, when you go have the conversation again about beating Twitch, guess what? Okay. Bad news. Nobody wants to fight you. You're too good. Nobody wants to go in the ring. Hint, time to move on from the arena. <laughs> uh, the only one to fight you is Bendek Starkiller, but you killed him. I'll never find anybody to fight you, sorry to say, but your dueling career is over. In other words, the game is very kindly telling you, please, move on. Alright. Now, items received. Guess what I have two of? Two Bendax Blasters. That's a little bug in the way things work there. And so now I can go to this guy, and he's got a heavy blaster, one to eight. Uh, Bendax is two to seven. But if I remember right, it is also upgradable. And... Yeah, I'm not worried about the balance. It is... Same crit range. Same proficiencies. 
Except he also gets a plus one to hit on it. Yes. There's a plus one attack modifier to it. So that means he's more likely to hit. And while the max damage is not as high as the Heavy Blaster. In other words, Heavy Blaster is one to eight. And Bendex is only two to seven. I like that the floor is a little bit higher. So in other words, worst case scenario with the Heavy Blaster, I roll a one on damage. Mm. Worst case scenario and Bendex Blaster, I at least roll a two on damage. Now, while two isn't much, it's better than one. So let me go ahead and equip LeDroid with one of them. And let me go ahead and put a Heavy Blaster in the other hand. Yeah, they're both balanced. Because I'm going to give somebody else the other Bendex Blaster. So he's got the Heavy Blaster. He's got Bendex Blaster. That's all I can upgrade him with right now. Because I have no credits. <laughs> uh, I, oh, wait. No, I got the purse. Hmm. I might have to check out the droid shop and see what I can upgrade him with for 1800 all right, so that's done. He won, and before I forget, let me go ahead and save. Bam, done. All right, all right, lady. Round and round we go. And. Get that wrong. 50-50. It's either right or left. I <laughs> get it wrong more often than not. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. I've got to wait for the slow pokes behind me. One. Two. One. Does she have anything to say about that? Yep. The surface of Terrace is covered with an urban skyscraper. Its glittering spires belie the decay that lies in its lower reaches, however. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. Okay. Then I suggest we move on. Onward and forward. Yeah, yeah, I know. You want me to level up. I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, let me see if she's got any weapon upgrades. Hey, look who's back! The mysterious, the mysterious stranger. stranger. You know, I had a front row seat when you gunned down Bendix Starkiller. <laughs> Best duel I've ever seen. If times I weren't how so well tough, I'd give you a discount. Is. Seeing as how you're a big huh. celebrity and all, but with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you got for because sale? of the Sith quarantine. Yeah, you told me that already. All right. Still got twelve med packs left, so at least there's that. Um, I'll hang on to all the stems and those deals. I'll hang on to that. Uh, I don't. Yeah, no, I'll hang on to that. I will get rid of the regular blaster pistol. And I'll hang on to those because I know I'm picking up some more companions. I just forget what kind of armor types they need. Art spikes. Yeah, good. I'll keep all that and let's go look at the buy list so I don't need med packs. That would be nice, but that's a lot of money for... Light armor with a max defense bonus of six. Yeah. Ah. I think I got enough of the other kind of armor that I don't really need to worry about that. All right. None of the swords really strike a fancy. I should probably start keeping a stat sheet with who's got what. Uh, just because I can't remember if... Uh, if Madam Jedi next to me has a double-bladed saber that is good enough. Or if I'd be better off getting her one of these uh, ritual brand or double-bladed something or others. And uh, yeah, I don't need any more heavy blasters. I don't need any sniper rifles. 
I could use a couple of frag grenades. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. That'll get me covered for at least a little bit. And then I'm going to run over to the droid shop. Pick up. See if uh, I can afford any upgrades for my little minion there. And then I am going to head over to the other hut and pick up the bounty on Bendak. So I've got the purse for winning, and I should be able to pick up the bounty for killing him, which will give me a nice little bump in pay as well. And then I will head over there and start trying to take out the base. Whoa. That was the base, right? No, that's the apartments. Where was the base? There was the base. Okay. What's up with these guys over here? <laughs> Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in Seriously, the upper city. Guys. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Seriously, by children, though? You can be backhand. <laughs> There's not enough that I don't know, uh... Yeah. Did you really get beat up enough by kids that you need a med pack? Small, oh. thank you for saving me from this young children. Let's take leave of you. I left me to be wondering where I am. Hey, light side points game. Good. That'll at least uh, <laughs> help counterbalance the dark side points that I got from uh, fighting in the arena. It's going to be over the sewer. Now I know I've got him all set up. Alright, so what kind of gear does he have? He's got a shield disruptor, a stun ray, light plating type 1, and an energy shield level 1. Okay. Light plating type 1, energy shield type 1. And he's got stun and shield disruptors. Shield disruptors consumes one charge, automatically discarded after all charges are available. Ah, destroys the personal shielding of an enemy. Okay. Light plating, an energy shield. Stunray have limited. Yeah, the stunray's got limited uses. Okay. And let me just double check. What are your armor proficiencies, good sir? Utility drone. 
Upgrade, upgrade. Class 1 allows the use of level 1 upgrade items. Alright, uh... Huh. Interesting. Does not say. Then I guess he can be equipped with anything. Hachu apanki. Jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua pyong bo joni. Mina mamba to mule ra. Haku gri kat godara pa bola. Tanga bok sha um nak nong. Kin kun shin shin kin. Ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun. Chuni yun ni ji ji alduana. Kava volpa muli kumana. Okay. Let's see what you got for sale. Alright, so... How many computer spikes do I have anyway? I got 12, so I should be good with that. Uh... Parts might be worth getting. I've only got six. Ooh, they are pricey though. All right, I don't need a blaster pistol or an IR. Ooh, light plating type two. That is a droid upgrade class two, so he cannot use that yet. Basic targeting. Uh, weapons, okay. That gives him weapons focus, which I think he already has. Uh, sensor probe bumps his demolitions. Computer probe bumps his computer. Security interface tool bumps his security. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more, but... You know what? Let me go ahead and buy one of those for now. So as soon as he can get that in there. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Just so that way we get that handy the next time we need it. And I'll hold off on buying the parts. Because I think we'll be okay. Now here's the question. Oh, first I gotta go turn in the other quest. With Mr. Hut. I know, I know. Desperately want me to upgrade. Upgrade. <laughs> Level up. Alright. Do the cantina. Yeah. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us Dude. is getting off this planet unless we work We're not done together. yet. But we've got a small problem. Yeah, I haven't I heard know. about anyone breaking into the military base yet. So I know you don't have those departure codes. If you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't I have much come to talk here and about. Talk to you. All right, I'll be back when I get those codes. I'll be waiting right here. Dude. Nope. Yeah, it's probably behind him, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me go talk to Zex. Back again. <laughs> I have a bounty I'd like to collect up. Which bounty? Bender. Yeah, there's a certain symmetry to that. 
spent that because you're for killing people in a duel and you collected by killing them in a desert. Yeah. Oh. I was hoping for a little more for that play. No, I'm not going to threaten him. Persuade doesn't work. So. Alright, yeah, do good work, yada yada, same thing. Uh, what other... Yeah. Yeah, I think I've gotten them all now. Alright. Let's go take a look at the journal right now. So I still got stuff to deal with with Karth. Still got stuff to deal with with Bastila. And Escaping Terrace. Okay. So all the side quests, at least all the ones available so far, have been completed. Now it's time to go grab some codes and blow this joint. Where's my party? Dude. Hmm. Hmm. That does raise an interesting question. Who do I want to infiltrate this base with me? I know I need to take the droid because he's the only one who can open up the security codes. Um, yeah, this is where I want to go. Short-term memory, something or other. Uh, let me go ahead and save now. Just in case. Party selection. Alright, so she is a level 6 sentinel. He's a level 7 soldier. Level 6 scout. Level 6 scoundrel. I almost want to take Karth just because I think he'll be able to hit a little bit harder. Although she will be able to engage in melee combat. Which will help take a little bit of the pressure off. And she's got a Jedi power that will let her heal. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, stop. we'll just go with that right there then. Alright, um, By the way, do you want to level up? No? No? Okay. And I do have you on Jedi Droid Support. And I have you on Jedi Droid Support. Alrighty then. I guess it's time to go sneak up to a Sith base <laughs> with a sword in hand. Right, that's how this works. That's right, I'm gonna switch to you. And away we what? go. Dumpa Kapalia Monapata, Bonanakachu, Yin Kin Kun Noba Mule Rachi Kun, Tong Nabun Shanu Yang. Kipuna Nabon Shah, Kava Dumpa Kupaliaya Mokarpata. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tongki pala so you're not buying that I have a meeting ki nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk kin kon shi kakchin awana wamata all those fails. And the Ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin pot drunko yeah. And the 50 credits make me more inclined to, you know, help you out, right? Alright, lady. Okay, remind 
me again. Who's got the better computer use skill? Alright, uh... Da, 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 da. Oh, skills. Computer use 10, computer use 15. Uh, that is a no-brainer. Slice that computer. You know, I know earlier I was picking on this thing being that easy to hack, you know, just to go <laughs> stick a computer spike into it and call it done. But, um, I started looking at some of the devices like the USB rubber ducky that Hack 5 offer. And it's not as, it's not as far off as, uh, as you would think. Alright, let's go. What's in the main barracks? Okay. And the secondary barracks. Ooh. Yes, please. It's crying shame. Somebody should check on that. Alright, reception is where we're at right now. What about medical? Alright, so there's a dude over there. And the control center. And the elevator. Mm -mm. Uh, Alright, I've only got nine computer spikes left. I'm going to go ahead and disable the assault droid shields. That seems smart. Aww. I don't have five spikes to open the elevator, so let me go back to the root. And what's in the armory? Okay. Back to the root. And system commands. Ooh. Huh. I've only got two spikes left. I'd like to take the turrets offline, but I don't have the spikes for that. Uh, I'd like to take the sentry droids offline, but I don't have the spikes for that. I could always run back and buy... What's that going to be? Five, ten... Seventeen... Seventeen spikes? I don't know. That's going to be kind of expensive, so let me just go ahead and upload the schematics. So I at least know where I'm going. I have no computer spikes left, so let me go back. Alright. Switch yes. back to Mr. Main Character, and let's take a look at the map. We are here. There's the barracks. There's the elevator. There's the control center. Medical, the auxiliary barracks, and the armory. So, let me head down the hall, knock out the two rooms, that main room there, and let me at least get to the control center to see if uh, it'd be worth pursuing any further. But first, oh, hello. Well, shoot. All right, you first. All right, we'll triple team him, and do I want to waste a stun? No. Well, if I'm not going to waste the stun. Well, at least take out that guy there. Yes. Uh, probably should have bought some more med packs, to be honest. Okay. 
Should have bought more med packs. Alright. Who's got. Oh, we got a data pad. And a med pack. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go to you. We won't waste the advanced repair kit. Let's grab the regular repair kit. Bam! What can I do? Oh, and we gotta wait for your force abilities to recharge. What? So we'll give you a moment to do that. And anything here at this terminal? No. Nope. Alright. So that's everything that was there. Some XP and a med pack. Alright. That's the door we came in. Okay, no, that's just facade. I thought so. I mean, I'm looking at the map. Um, what's with the random part on the floor? I'll see that there, right? Okay. All right, and ready, set, save. <laughs> Just because I, I, I feel like I'm a little undergeared. Let's do this. Alright, you know what? Let's see if we can't get the power attacks to work. They won't find anything until they can get I'm Okay. I'm here. Oh, and she burned through all her force points sure. too. Alright, I'll give her a moment to recharge. Let me, uh, wander about. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted the remains. There we go. Oh, some more light plating, an energy shield, a computer probe. All nice. All right, this guy's got nothing. Not in that box. Not in that box. Well, that takes care of a little bit of the med pack part. All right. Can't climb in there to get a little healing. Okay, guess not. Hey. What can I do? Is it back up to full health? Yes. Almost. Alright. I'm here. There we go. Yes? Alright. Everybody's back up to full health. We'll go this way. Get everybody into a position where they can actually, you know, do something. Save the game. And what is behind door number two? Oh! You guys. Alright. Toss a grenade at you. Toss some power attacks at you. Let me go to 
save all that mine now. So happy she didn't set that off. I was worried that that was exactly what was going to happen. Alright, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Do you have any spikes in there? I got a funny feeling I'm going to need some. Prepare again. Eh, I won't say no. I have no spikes. Okay. Nothing in there. Alright, it looks like we're really going to need to get some computer spikes, or this is not going to go very well for us. Or not nearly so well as it could go. So. Yeah, let's drop out of here real quick. And let's run over to... The droid shop had spikes, right? So I'm pretty sure the guy over by the apartment did too. And we could use the healing anyway. So let's go to the map. Let's return to hideout. Because if nothing else, we'll at least be fully healed up from this particular endeavor. Alright, good sir. Back again. Uh, let me see what you got for sale. Med packs. Computer spikes. He's only got two. He wants 275 for them? I think that's a ripoff. You know what? Mm mm. Mm mm mm. Oh, no, that's a heavy weapon anyway. Okay. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Because I want two seventy something, right? What does she want for it over here? I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore order? Come on, where am I caught on? I don't miss that part of old, <laughs> the older games. Welcome to the All equipment right. import. Because of the Sith. Yeah, yeah, dude was ripping us off. Let's buy all the security spikes you got. And yeah, there's nothing else we want to get out of there. And just for kicks, I'm going to check over by the droid lady shop just to see if she has them too. I can't remember if she does or doesn't, but... uh. Five spikes is going to be a little tight to get us through this. There's a part of me that definitely wants to spend them on getting the, uh, getting the, uh, everybody here. Hello. Oh, there you are. Who did you get stuck on? <laughs> it's like watching highway traffic. We get to the left lane. No, the right lane. No, the left lane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go see if uh, the droid shop has any more security spikes, because that is definitely something I need if I want to finish that base with any degree of uh, comfort. Ooh. Ooh. You want to level up, right? Okay, let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Level up. You're going to level 7. Alright, and yes please, let's max out your computer use and your repair. And let's bump your security up. There we go. 
accept. Now you can take the class two upgrades, which means we can now give you that droid plating light type two. We can sell the type one stuff now too for a little extra cash. Uh, hmm. I'll hang on to this just because, yeah, it's not that bad a bit of equipment yet. Ooh, computer probe. Updates computer. Yep. Okay. I forgot I'd pick that up. And you want to upgrade to correct? Yes. Level up. Skills. Um. That's right. We we're gonna bump up your treat injury and awareness. All right. And with powers, we're gonna go. Hmm. We can't up the heel yet. That's not until 12. We can definitely up the defense. We're not going to do the burst of speed. Force Valor could be nice, but we're not going to up that just yet. Because we can't. <laughs> That's not to level 9. Uh, offer some protection from direct force power. Oh, okay. Nothing we're going to worry about just yet. And it looks like it's not available. For some reason. Oh, character level 9. Okay. Uh, energy resistance might be nice. Affect mine. We can't. Not useful. Stun upgrade could be nice. Disabled droid could also be nice. Wound is a dark side power. Not keeping with what you're doing. Slow is a dark side power. Not going there. Same with fear and shock. Force push, but we can't do whirlwind yet. Uh, we're not doing drain or suppression. And we can't do the advanced throw yet. So, it looks like our options, our only real options, are Disable Droid, Energy Resistance, and Force Shield. Let's do Force Shield then. Okay. Bam. Bam. And yeah, he's still not updated yet. Okay. Not until we get a chance to do that. Hello again. Let's see what you got for sale. Yeah, okay. You've got infinite, but they're two fifty a pop. We're down to our last eight hundred. Got five. We'll buy one more. And then hold off there. Hmm. I like that you got them, but I hate the price. I always thought there would have been a quest associated with these guys or something you could do. If there is, I have not found it. Alright, down we do. Back to the base. Huh. Somebody left the door. And it's with these long running scenes that I kind of wish I had a podcast to run in the background, <laughs> except I'm supposed to be the podcast. There's a couple of really good podcasts that I'd normally recommend to um, in the tweet announcing. Right, let's check in the security terminal. Don't let me forget that. Alright, what can we do from this terminal? Oh, back to the security cam, right? Barracks main. Marut. 
System commands. Oh, because I should have had the droid do it. Dang it. I was just saying I only have zero spikes. I know that didn't cost me all f all six. Oh. Uh, interesting. Yes. All right. I guess this is gonna just be a tougher fight because I'm not going back to try to find him. <laughs> is that the surprise round? All right. Just these two. Um. Let me remind myself again. Uh, beats. Flurry lowers my defense. Power attack just lowers the two hit. Okay. Let me power attack a fool. Actually, you know what? I'll let them do their thing. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Done. And hmm. okay. Uh -oh. You there. Me? That's right. You're the one who cleaned up the bodies. Do you remember? Well, yes, I remember. Although your camera looks about like mine, a little overblown. <laughs> right. I remember. <laughs> yeah, they're going to execute you for body cleanup. Now how do I get you out? Switch all the panels on the wall to the red off position. It's not as simple. Switching a panel will also switch the panel beside it. Yeah, switching a panel will switch the panel beside it. You must be careful. If you set all the panels to green, you will be executed. <laughs> no pressure. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and. What can I do? Do that what? cure thing that you do. we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save now, just in case I accidentally kill a fool. Alright. So this is going to turn that red and those two green. I need to get them all red though. Alright. So if I do this one, that's going to turn red, that's going to go green. And if I do this one, that's going to go red. That's going to go green. Which means if I do this middle one, they should all turn red. <laughs> what you doing here? So bad you can. Well, I mean, you could put a down payment on it, even if you could never repay. <laughs> Alright. Let's check the closet over here. And what's in the box? Strength, med pack, parts. Yes, please. I'll take them all. Alright, that's it for there. Uh, let's check our map here real quick. Alright, that's going to go directly into the computer room. That's going to come down into the barracks. And the armory. I think what I want to do is come in... 
Yeah, I'll clear this hallway up along the top. I, I keep forgetting that the mouse cursor doesn't show up on the stream for whatever reason. I'm going to keep going over through the top just to clear that out. Take care of the control center, the yellow dot on the map. And then I will take care of that hallway. Then the armory. I'll get those barracks last and then I'll start working on the other side. I was mentioning normally when I play games like this, I tend to... Ooh. Sorry. ADDO butterfly. Yes, please. Reactivate. Engage in patrol mode. Uh, hmm. And... I only got seven more parts, so do I really want to... Do targeting or weaponry, or do I just want it to be... Yeah, I'll leave it alone for now. What? All right. Disable the mine. I bet my little that little droid of mine that I fixed the last time. I bet he's sitting over here dead. Or is he back on patrol? I bet he I think he's dead. I think that's what that big old crater over here is. <laughs> Alright. Fun while it lasted. I really want to look over the edge, but I'm worried I might fall off. And what did you leave behind? Credits and stamina, always nice. Credits and a repair kit, also nice. And so now we got security terminals. So, uh, where are you? It's best of the. Yes. Let's get you to go ahead and do your healing thing. And let's get the droid to come up to the security terminal. Yeah. And not do much because yes, I apparently don't have spikes. I don't know where they went to. I just bought them. Y'all saw me spend the money on them. But uh, okay, whatever. Hello, good sir. Bam! And I'll let them do their thing. That seems to be working out well enough for me. And no remains on him. Back to the map real quick. Alright, so I want to go... Do I want to do the barracks for... No, I want to do the armory. That's down at the other end of the hallway. No problem. No problem. Didn't work. Didn't work. Are you kidding me? 
What can I do? Seriously, I mean, this is your own fault, right? What? That is the problem that I hate about keeping uh, an NPC or uh, yeah, a party like this. All right, what you get in the weapons locker? Iron rifle and a beam splitter. Nice. And what we got in this weapons locker? A disruptor rifle and an energy projector. Also nice. And in this locker we got some grenades. Always welcome. And in this locker we have a shield. Ooh, a flamethrower. Hmm. Okay, so I can get you a shield disruptor or a stun ray. Which you've used eight times already. What about your shield disruptor? 1010, we haven't been running into any too many shielded people. So let's do the flamethrower. <laughs> because, of course, why not? Alright, so I've looted all the boxes. I really do. I really ought to install some of those upgrades. Let me, uh. Let me see if we get to, uh. Stand in here real quick. Well, there is no good way of going about this, is there? Alright. Fine. Bam. Let's get you out of the way. I stun the droid. And attack this guy. And lava grenade that way. And that'll let them go on yes. autopilot for the rest. Oh! Oh my. I should have saved <laughs> before attempting the barracks. This is about to be very bad. Nope. Shoot. What can I do? Can you fast travel back to the hideout? Nope. Well, shoot. What about if I leave the building? Will you be able to fast travel then? Or is it going to say you can't leave because you don't have the full party? I haven't been in this position. Yep. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh... Well, that sucks. Somebody should have thought harder before opening up a door. Labeled barracks. I wonder who that would be. Alright, stun the droid. Throw a grenade. you and then double down on you. The force fights with you. You know what? Let's back that up. Let's get a med pack in there. And then we'll go for the attacks. Uh -oh. 
the fool. Wow. Uh, not enough, uh, <laughs> not enough force points yet. Come on. All right, that's a little bit better. Sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to fast travel back to the base. I'll take this as an opportunity to um, add those recovered components to my various weapons and whatnot. Because I just got exceptionally lucky that she was able to pull that off. And then we'll do the next half. That sounds like a plan. That uh, sounds like a wonderful plan. Alright, round and round we go. Alright. Now that we're all healthy again... She did just bail us out, but I'm not sure I want to keep her. Although, now that we got the security door open, I don't know that I need to keep the droid. And so far, he has been the one that's really messed things up. Do I have... no. What about... no. Alright, uh... melee. Okay, do I have... yes please. Assemble. Do I have any spare parts for that one? No, nope, not yet. Okay. And let's try the armor real quick. I think that one's, yeah, that one's fully upgraded. What about the Republic armor? Do I have any of the missing? No. And ranged. Let's go to this one first, since it's the one the droid is using. And there we go. Oh, that's the only part we got there. What about Karth? Oh, he's already got that part anyway. I may want to take Karth with me instead of the droid. Uh, as much as I could really use the bump in computer use to hack and whatnot. Uh, what about... Ooh. Should I take it out of the blaster the droid's using and put it in the bowcaster? And take Z with me instead. Hmm. Same damage. Same crit. Just a change of a plus one in attack. Alright, uh, let's try chatting real quick. No? Yes, what's on your mind? Alright. You got you it. You don't want to talk. How can I help? Then I suggest right. we move on. You don't want to talk, and we haven't done anything with you two either. Alright. So. I bet when I take them, I'll be able to level them up. So let me go ahead and add them real quick. Yes. What is this con anyway? <laughs> it's already 20. Alright, level up. Skills. Uh, let us bump up your repair. Keep that topped out. And we'll up your demolitions and your treat 
injury. Actually, you know what? Let's bump up your treat injury, because that's going to help more with the combat, with the in combat. You get uncanny dodge two. Okay. We're not using a double bladed weapon, and we're not using two weapons, one in each hand. We're not doing the melee flurry. We're really not even doing the power attack. I don't know why I have that. Alright, uh, so we can improve the flurry, improve the power blast. Why do you have weapons focus melee? I don't remember giving you that. Single one-handed, which is not your jam. Okay, that's going to give plus one to attack. That's going to give plus eight to damage with a minus three to hit. Two hit is awfully nice. Blurry is nice for the extra shot. Yeah, you know what? We'll do the improved power blast this time. We'll do the improved flurry next time. Add it. There we go. Bam. Alright, you just get some skills. So we're going to bump up your treat injury. We're going to bump up your stealth. We're going to bump up your demolition. And let's go ahead and bump up your treat injury. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Not enough. Okay. Bam. And you get sneak attack four. Alright, so everybody's level six. No, sorry, level seven. Except me. Go back to the party selection. So that's a level seven scout, level seven soldier. All right, uh, hmm. Let me remove the scoundrel. I'll keep the scout. And let's try keeping the Jedi and see how that goes. All right. Once more into the base, dear friends, once more into the base. Now that we've taken care of the hard stuff, like, you know, the barracks. Oh. How about learning lessons from last time? Save. Yep, I'm sure I want to save. All right, let's load up the power attacks there. Yes. I know I heard you hear things. That seems unnecessary. Schematics, and you are the barracks, and you are the elevator. Well, I guess I need to do the barracks next. And I think you're the one that I killed everybody in. Yeah. I mean, that everybody had that unfortunate accident in. Alright. There that is. Improved, and okay, so I can upgrade somebody else. I got the passwords. Code, but it still checks out. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Alright, and we got the big honking droid of doom behind this wall. I know we just saved, but let me go ahead and save again. Okay. And there you are. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and double down on that. 
Yeah. Take care of that. Is there some other turtle? Oh, yeah. Stun. Grenade. And then attack. What? I can't. This is not really an option now, is it? Drop some power attacks. Uh, let's drop some power blasts. There we go. in the transformer. Oh, I bet we could have blown that and uh, taken that dude out. Alright. Well. Down to the Sith base. Where's it up? I'm not sure. Who dares to break my meditation? You <laughs> will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a no Disciple, for of, the disciple dark of the Dark Side. Uh, turn Spoken back. like a true drone of the Jedi Council. Well, we Sith, part of the Council, however, yeah. have learned to embrace the potential of the Dark Side. It is what gives uh -huh. us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Well, one of us is going to get rewarded with a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm just saying. And let me go ahead and... Come on, get the queue up. There we go. Let's load up the power attacks. And madam... Let's see if he'll hit your stun. No, nope, not the push. You know, I'm not gonna waste the points on it. Let's just get the attacks going. And yes. Double blast. Oh, this is where the droid would have been nice. Could have done something about the shield. Oof. Oh, because she's stunned. Okay. Fine. Fine. Ooh. Oh no. I have misjudged. I have misjudged horribly. I'm not gonna survive the next hit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, not that many. Well, let's get two more in there. <laughs> Engage him. Don't let him do it to me. You shall fall. You shall fall. 
That got lucky. Alright, what you got? You got the launch codes, an adrenaline amplifier, an energy shield, strength gauntlets, a neural band. Okay, let's take all that. Then what were the other set things I picked up? Ooh, 500 credits too. Anything else in here worth? What else we got? Bonding alloy, computer. Oh, there's our computer spikes. All right, some battle armor, security spikes. Look at up. Look at up. That's everything. All right, I'll go take a look at the papers when I'm in the safety of the apartment. <laughs> Everybody in here has been finished. All the loot has been accounted for. So unless there are surprises on the way back, which there usually are not, I should be able to escape without too much trouble. And we'll fast travel back to the apartment and take a look at what new and wondrous things I've acquired. Healing along the way. And then we'll head back to the Undercity so we can go talk to our uh, resident Mandalorian and go about the next part of things. Alright, so first things first. Upgrade. And... Nope. That's got everything. Can this be upgraded? Yes. Did I pick up anything that could upgrade? Yes. And did I pick up upgrades? Nope. Alright, so Karth is fully upgraded. Z is close to it. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'll make those two blasters my next uh, my next set of upgrades. And I wanted to go in. I'll take a look at equipment in a second. Disruptor pistols, iron rifles, grenades, lots of grenades, neural band that increases the will, which I think I already have. That. Bumps up the strength by one, which could be nice. Energy shields, adrenaline. Bumps up reflexes, always nice. Uh, this data pad. Oh, okay. The launch codes. And that appears to be... Yeah, everything. I'll be th a few things to sell later. Alright, so... Let's get out of here. And you know what? Let's take these guys. As much as I like having a Jedi around, these guys seem to hit harder. So we'll go ahead and use them. Bring along the hired muscle. Yep, I'm sure that's the party I want to take. And we're going to transit back. Are you sure? Yep. Because this is a shorter walk. Hello, good citizen. I think the last time I was doing a little bit of a run, I had mentioned that uh, I much prefer to not walk past the door I need. Oh wait, Listen I was going to sell me, the. Uh, that is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Sell the extra my anyway. Let me go ahead and do that now. Uh, I normally like to listen to podcasts while I play games and do that kind of thing. And you a punky. Uh, let me see what's for sale. All right. Hang on to those, hang on to those, hang on to the spikes, and... Oh, maybe I bought them something different. Hmm. Alright, uh, gonna hang...
hang on to those for a minute. All right, I want to hang on to the shield disruptor. Hang on to that, but I'm going to sell those. I forgot to also check. That bumps decks. Okay, so I can either get dex plus one or strength plus one. But I want to say. Let's go back to the stats. Dex is an 18, and that is with the plus one. So yeah, I'm going to want to do that for now. His strength could use a bump, though. He can't use those. It's just another will save. Okay. He's already got the energy shield, he's got his blaster, and a heavy blaster. I might give him Bendix's other blaster, I don't know. I no, I'll give that to uh, the other one. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on him, so we got at least something. And he can't wear them naturally. Yes? Okay. Everybody's about as well equipped as they're gonna be. Down the road. The we go. evil walks among us! The enemy is the here! Enemy we must act us. now before we are over. this is going, we might be able to get off the planet in time, too. Or before the end of the, uh, the episode. Alright. Oh, you're I'll not going to immediately that. assault me? Alright. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Yeah, it's almost now, like it's I the fate of the game. military base had a break in. <laughs> and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I You seem to know a lot. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the I thought that was the goal. I we thought we already right agreed now. to that. Alright. Uh, uh -huh. Not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust you. I'm very interested because it's the only way off this planet. I, I think I've taken care of everything I'm going to take care of, so let's Sonic's join. Sonic's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how uh. you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested in working okay. for the Everybody exchange. keeps making, making like this race thing is so such a huge out. deal. He'll have you stay at his what, what part of days you want to race says, checks on I'm going to hire you. That's standard procedure. That's not a bad plan. It might just work. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Hmm. Candorus has a special cybernetic implant that regenerates minor wounds. Always nice. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that he was going to be dark side. So, who do I want with me while well, Mr. Candorus backs me up? Hmm. pair of soldiers that could be nice uh, let me go ahead and add the Jedi let's see if we can't make that work a little bit better is that yeah that's the party configuration I want there we go video time uh oh Plane, the plane, 
boss of the plane. Sorry. I really do need to curb those impulses. <laughs> Get a little bit more about the uh, the series and the such. Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Mallard. Uh-oh. I think I know what's about to happen next. <laughs> so, Candorous. I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Seriously. Very impressive. I As took down Bendix Starkiller in a one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh... Your big thing is a swoop race? What? Okay, the heated battle afterward, that makes a little bit more... Uh, hmm. Good to meet you. There was nothing. I didn't know you were a swoop fan. A casual fan at best, but everyone on Taris follows the big season opener. But we have more important issues to discuss now. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Hmm. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid so the auto-targeting laser cannons of the oh, orbiting Sith of fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. He needs just a little bit more Italian accent. These'll be your be accommodations. Godfather. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes. Because he's going to make you an offer you can't refuse. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit <laughs> the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return most after harshly. the investigation into your background is complete. Sorry, I'm Until still then, having problems with science Make yourself strange. comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. 
Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Yeah, it's almost like we've got an hour. <laughs> okay. Saved. And is there anything worth looting around here? Ooh, a footlocker. Which has computer spike parts and 11 bucks. Sure, why not? You never know when that comes in handy. Alright, low security doors. Alright, this is probably... Welcome to the slave quarters, Master. Oh. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. There's a joke in there. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Do I look like a Patriots coach? Oops. Alright, uh... But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Let's I'm try sorry, it. Master, but the risk is too great. Okay. Davik will have me flayed alive if he finds out. Is there something else I may do to please you? I won't betray Davik's secrets for credits. <laughs> They're of no use to a slave. Is there something else I can do for you? Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik Eventually rewards I was slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear okay. from Davik's guests. Recently, poor they've Hoodra. all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught Hoodra. trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Eben Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's oh. torture chambers. I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain okay. to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. Of right. course. Return whenever you <laughs> wish to partake of what is offered here. We're going to go find the we pilot and rescue him. To serve you. He's conveniently in trouble. Uh, what do we got? What's in the footlocker? Computer parts and four bucks. Odd, but okay. Welcome to the slave quarters, Master. Here we have succulent. <laughs> Would you like a relaxing massage? Of course. Welcome to the slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, <laughs> but perhaps one of the female slaves could serve your needs better? Yeah, for some reason I thought this game was, uh... No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Ooh. I could use both of those. No problem. Got it. All right. I'll have to uh, set up my new side deck. <laughs> Before I do the next one, let me go ahead and save again. I don't think there are any battles in here, but it's been one of those things that uh, I'm starting to get a little paranoid about it. No problem. Got it. Oh, 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 sorry. Nope. 
I mean, I am going to come in here and loot your foot locker, but... I saved it right before I opened the door. Let's see. What do you want this time? Uh, I'd like to ask you some questions. No question. <laughs> we wouldn't like you mad. Not going to push it. Not going to threaten. That seems like it's asking for dark side points. That's the room I came from. No problem. Got hey! It. What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tuni Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going... Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Uh-uh. No way. You're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards if you live long enough for them to question you. Oh. Okay. I was hoping we could resolve this peaceably enough, but, uh... Alright. Yeah, I guess I should have known that that was going to cause problems. Alright. I forgot to level up Carlo, too. Alright. Sure. I'll take a poison grenade. It's got to be worth some credits. And part spikes and credits. And we're going to go level you up. Because, yeah. What skills do you have? Treat injury. And demolitions. Oh, uh, okay, because that's cross... Cross class? No, that's class. Okay. Alright, you got all the armor. We're not really doing the two-weapon thing with you, because I think, if I remember right, yeah. You are all about the heavy weapons. Which means that's not going to be a good option either. We can't bump up your power blast. Uh, we could do the power attack. Or we could do the rapid shot. Alright, that will... Yeah, let's do the rapid shot. Just keep bumping those up. Skills. That's right, you only get one skill point a level. Huh. Alright. Beats and... Nope. Neither one yet. Let's go ahead and get you... Implants then. No, not those. Yeah. I don't really want to do toughness, uh, unless plus one at level up, plus previous, and two points of, oh, two points of damage resistance? Two points of DR isn't bad. That's a thought. Now yeah, let's get you the, the implants that way. We can start bumping you up in other ways. Which means we should now be able to go and bump up your con. Bump up your will. Get you an energy shield. Get you out of clothing. And into, let's see... That's going to be, it's going to bump it up to 16, 17, 18. Okay, that sounds good. 
Bump up your reflexes. There we go. Now that we got you equipped. All right. There we go. I looted that already, didn't I? Yes. Okay. Everything's looted in here. We got everybody leveled. Let's go ahead and save while we got the opportunity. That's the hangar. That's probably going to lead down to the hangar. Got to fill in this map a little bit more, see if we can't get a better idea what's going on. This has got to go somewhere too. And I think the pilot's going to be up this way. should have taken a more cautious route around all that, but, uh, uh, you take what you can. All right. And we get a med pack from those remains. And you didn't leave any remains. And what can we do with the security terminal? All right, let's slice in. Got a few people in the spice lab. Not anymore. <laughs> Who has that anyway? I mean, like, you gotta seriously sit there and wonder about people who <laughs> have that kind of thing set up in their room. Alright, barracks, which is where I am. Let's not accidentally guess the room we're in. Storage, we've already been through there. What about the hangar? Okay. Now, don't have enough to gas the hangar. For shame. Oh, there's the guest room. Alright, and what... Uh, oh, dang it. You know what? I'm not going to try. I really should have tried to get uh, more out of there. But I'm short enough on computer spikes, so I'll just kind of push ahead. Yes? Alright, that tops off everybody's health. Everybody's yes. in a place to do something useful. Let's, uh, let that be somewhere else. I really should be trying to recover those, but my luck has not been with me. Barricade parts. Alright, more spikes. Maybe I will go back now and see what I can get off of that terminal. Let's at least get the schematics. And I'm out of spikes again. 
but I've at least got a map. So the map says, there's the guest wing. There's where I just came from. All right, uh, I'm going to head through that door. Uh, at the top is the guest room. Over there are more barracks. And then the spice lab. All right. Through the door. Around and around we go. He's behind me. Okay. This is the guest room, and if I remember right, there was somebody behind there. So let me go ahead and save before this goes badly. Yep, nope. Okay, the party I guess, the party I got. feeling too healthy about that. Where is my shield? I know I had one equipped. I'll double check my inventory in a little bit. Oh. Oh no. What? Oh, cause hmm. Cause this went badly. That's why. What can I do? What? Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Mm hmm I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Questions? Please, I've already t right. It won't be long Go until on. Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Bravely run away. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Okay. What can I do? You can lay down the cure. Alright. Yes? You can go into your inventory. Oh, because that's the armband and I didn't put another energy shield on. <laughs> Oof. Okay. There we go. And there are... Oh, no, that was the cage release. And there's nothing to loot in this... How did he put it? Guest room? Alright. Oh, forgot to loot this guy. Pass guard. Probably nice. 
I'll have to check on that. Do that now. That seems to be a standard key card for... okay. Ah. Uh, I guess I don't need to keep hacking into the, uh, <laughs> terminals. Alright, everybody's healed up, everybody's ready to go. Go ahead and save, because that last one went badly. Doesn't help them a couple levels lower than what you should be to get in through here. No problem. Got it. Oh yeah, this must have been the place that I uh you asked earlier. Gun batons, heavy combat suit, armor reinforcement, heavy blaster. Ooh, that armor reinforcement means I can upgrade the Republic armor now, which will help. And 500 credits always helps. Alright, so that room's done. I don't really need to save because I just did before an empty room. And more rooms. I guess both rooms got... Credits, grenades, med pack. Alright. And. Another med pack. Alright. And down this way. We got. Rubble. That's what we got. We got a grenade going that way, some power attacks going this way. queued up. And let's get those power blasts queued up. Let's make this quick. Let's make this in the box. Another med pack. That's it there, that's it there. And yes. Um, that's gonna take me down this hall around the corner and I can pop up and clear out that hall that I missed earlier just because I'm a completionist and I like to get everything. into the hangar, which is going to trigger the last fight, so... Up to health. Ooh. 
What's in these lanes? Reddit's in a med pack. Alright. So far, so good. I'm not going to worry about the security terminal at this point. And anything down this hall. Nope. That should get me into the throne room. Nice. Alright. Everybody's at full health. Let's see if this will give me anything worthwhile. Use an access card. Security cameras. Hangar. Nope. Oh, that's us. What about this hangar? That hangar. What's in the root menu then? System commands, security doors. Disable hangar security. Okay. Hangar security is disabled. Hangar bay doors. And save game. Before I get into the big battle, I do need to feed the dog, so bear with me while I get his food real quick. That beautiful puppy is named Jabba. Jabba the pup. <laughs> All right. Damn no to the hangar bay doors. The whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner. Or... Oh, look uh, what we got here. Thieves in the hangar. Thieves in the hangar. Yep. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Yeah. Sorry, but yeah, that ain't gonna much. happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. All right. Uh. Hmm. Not the cure. Force valor. Force Valor, Force Shield, and then we'll get some attacks going. No. Try to stun him and then get some attacks going. I'm pretty sure that of the two, Davik is the weaker, and I want him out quick. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. Something hurt hard. 
This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Hmm. Damn those shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Well, that works too. What can I do? Here. Davix visor, Davix war suit, an energy shield, a heavy blaster. Always nice. Can I not? No way to loot the body. No way to loot the body. Uh, is there anything else going here? No. Nope. Okay. Not gonna look all that hard to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Let's get yes. this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. Yep. All right, time to beat feet. Oh. Oh, it crashed. Oh, no. Am I going to have to do that all over again? Oh, no. Uh, auto save was at 12 hours, 20 minutes. My save was at 12. Oh, gonna have to do the whole battle again. Dang it. All right, load. Maybe it'll go better this time anyway. Because what I need to do is a stupid energy shield at the top Damn, of the I'm battle. Sick. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew All they'd right. turn on us sooner or Let's go. Look what we got Skip. here. Thieves and a hangar. So I love how a bunch of light side Jedi are, uh, you know, just could have totally jacked this and ship and, and, dry and while the beat Sith feet. The planet into dust? Sorry, but that uh, ain't gonna this feels a little too we'll care of them, ends Captain. justify the I've means been for, to this for a long Jedi, time. at least uh, as depicted in uh, canon, especially up to this we'll point, all. up to the point of the game's creation. Alright, so I don't really want to do that first. I really want to do that first. Then that. Then load up on the power tanks. I really want to... Get that going. Get that going. And then get that going. And same deal. I want to fire up some energy shields. And then power blast away. All right. I'm here. Good oh, 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 shoot. Med back. Oh, he's about to bite it, isn't he? Alright, uh, let's get a couple of med packs in the queue anyway. Yes. Okay, good. Get that off. And it looks like I could use a med pack myself. Yeah, let's get a second one in the queue. Oh. Get a power attack. 
Fucking one in the queue. And a power attack. You have me outnumbered and outgunned. But if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn no shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears! I mean, I was really hoping to lose his body, but uh... Such is life, eh? Eat everything! Alright, before I try boarding the Ebon Hawk, let's go ahead and save. Let me do the scene switch now. This looks like a movie is going to fire up. And maybe this way it won't crash because it's trying to switch scenes in the middle of all this. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. There we go. Okay. I guess I gotta wait for the movie to start whenever I change scenes because the game is weird. All that for that little... Okay, good. A little more video. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Evil man is evil. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Ooh. Bomb it. Bomb it all. So, uh, instead of the Kessel Run, are we about to do the Terrace Run? <laughs> run! Run away! Good thing we grabbed the fastest ship of the lot. I mean, if the plot didn't demand it, I probably would have grabbed the pokiest little tug on the face of the planet. Alright, uh, we're gonna get to regular in-game type stuff. Nope, not yet. Okay. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold turrets. the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. And I'll let the game itself load back up. Oh wait, okay, because we got one more video. As we try to effect a strategic retreat. Advance to the rear. Any way you want to phrase it, other than retreat. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have known what they meant by fire. Here we are. much easier with a mouse.
There's one more, you jokers, right? There we go. Gotcha all. Bravely ran away, away. I didn't. When danger freed its ugly head, an unbravely ran and fled. Turned and fled. <laughs> Nah, I can't do that with all the sign of strainage in the sore throat. Ah, uh, oh well. Tantooine. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. Alright, uh, who do I want to agree with? I think I want to agree with Bastila. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She yeah, will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do another video, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Switch. To... This is just gonna be a video of the ship flying and landing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I guess we needed a pre-rendered video for this. Sorry, <laughs> I, I really am trying to cut down on the sarcasm a little bit in, in the derogatory I've remarks. spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi with the Council? Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. Uh, What's this about, I'm about to be a Jedi. I'm sorry, Carl, but I cannot tell you. I'm about All to I be ask a is that you Jedi. trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the council chambers. Okay. So I can't do anything with the party until I talk to the council. But, uh... Good day hello, to you. Mr. Jedi. I'm afraid Good I cannot to speak you. to you at the moment. I apologize. Uh-huh. The cath hounds have been very active of late. The settlers okay. feel they are becoming more dangerous. I don't think there is anything over here, so... Mr. Lur. Greetings, may I take a moment of your time? Sure. I'd love to serve. Okay. 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 His daughter was kidnapped by the Raiders many years ago and has not been returned. We might have news. I don't think I found news of Sasha the last time through. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I think this explains the part that I had forgotten about earlier. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, problems with Mandalorian is common. Someone on this planet can tell you. Alright. 
Is there anything of interest you can tell me? No large urban center. Natural habitats. With the chance, I would urge you to explore the planet's ranges in more detail. Alright, uh... Alright, I'll keep an eye out. Alright, so Jedi... Jedi... Is this door locked to me, or can I actually go talk to the Aerotech Mercantile? Ooh. First things first, I did pick up a couple of things. Alright, so... The Verpine Headband gives me a Will plus 3 and Awareness plus 2. Davix Visor gives me Improved Power Blast. Okay. That's not going to help me. Uh, I got the gloves. Deflection of energy, sonic cold heat, 40 points. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that queued up. Yeah. We'll leave that as it is. Davik's warsuit is medium armor. And it doesn't change anything. Because of the max dex. Okay, except that gives me damage resistance 20 versus cold and fire. And 10 versus cold and fire. Okay. So that's what I'm going to have to give to some other people when I get a chance. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess I will have to decide if I'm going to continue wearing armor with the Garbage Jedi. Hello, Mr. Proprietor. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. Apple. Not to mention driving a price is on essential goods. Letting people starve to death because they couldn't afford the prices. And they've thrown in with the Sith. Okay. You mean they're allied with the Sith? Uh, the Sith are tangled up in an expensive war. Lots of opportunities for a company to... And make some major profits. Malik is giving, giving them exclusive trading rights wherever the Sith have control. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> Rumors are getting worse, huh? Slaving, pillaging, genocide of indigenous species. The Sith has to... Yeah. Okay. What else? Uh, that's what's that. Let's see what you have for sale. Everybody's selection is limited there, buddy. Shirker's gonna find me, tell me why they're limited too. All right. Um, I will need some advanced med packs before too long. I don't think I'll need. It is heavy armor. That would probably be good to put on Mr. Big Shot. Because I think he's just got the... Uh, one of the combat suits. The military suit, probably. Yeah. So. Actually, go ahead and buy that for him. 
Ooh. Rated 12, plus 3 first droid. Upgradable. Oh. Oh, never mind. 7k. I'm not picking that up anytime soon. Uh, 8k? Nope. <laughs> Interface band. Computer use demolition security. Nice, but not for a K. Breath mask community to poison. Always nice. I've already got a couple of oral implants. Infiltrator gloves, bump up decks, computer use and security. All right, that's good to have. That's good to know that I got a source. That bumps all saves and strength by two. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. And okay. Immune to critical hits and awareness plus one. Nice, but not worth 750. These are usual stems and then some pizzazz cards. All right, what's on the cell list? Uh, antidote, med pack, advanced repair kit, repair kit, parts. I can definitely get rid of those. I'm going to be clearing out the armor here soon. Stun baton can go. Missions Vibrosaur can stay. That can go. Bendex can stay. You know what? I ain't switching between the two, so let's go ahead and sell the Disruptor Pistol. Let's go ahead and sell the Ion Rifle. Uh, one to eight, one to six. Hang on to those for a minute. I like the frag and the concussion. I'm going to skip the poison. Uh, hmm. Disorienting. All right, I'll hang on to that. I'll sell that. Which data pad? Carlo Nords. I'll hang on to that. I'll hang on to those. Hang on to that. Mm. Yeah, I'll hang on to the rest of that for now. All right, and what about you, I'm sir? Sorry, human. I oh, am unable to do anything. Okay. Aerotech Droids Incorporated. Okay, so don't talk to the droids. Let me see what you have in stock. Alright, droid upgrades. This is where I can at least get stuff for the minion. Advanced repair kit, repair kit. Heavy plating. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so it's not about the heavy light. It's about the droid upgrade. That's a class one. That's a class one. Why? So why would you choose one over the other? Aside for... Five, nine, four. Weapons focus. I don't know if he has weapons focus yet or not. I'll have to check on that. Yeah, before I do anything, I'll have to check and see what he's got. And I return back to my original. I'm going to have to start keeping tabs on who's got what. Well, hello, good sir. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave. I do not believe we know each other. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay, D. What brings you here? Funny you ask that. Alright, I came here with Bastila. Did she save me from the planet as well? Uh, well, I'm not going to do the I'm the one who saved her. So that leaves the only option as we work each other. Okay. 
Wanna kun bez ching palamule. Achuta. Enjoy your stay. May the force be with you. Okay. Oi, Jedi. I fear it is only a matter of time nope. before the Sith find okay. us here too. Never mind. You there, You're probably important. Padawan. You're named. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Seriously? Do you mock the honor traditions the of our order? Uh, sorry. Bastila. I am not a Padawan. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you... Isn't that redundant? You foolish claim pride. you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is okay. not a subject so for jokes. So you are a super serious lady. Alright, I am telling Please you the truth. the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. Really? I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant much stay here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Alright, that goes outside. Yeah, let's talk to him first. The council has decreed you must not leave the enclave. Please return to your room. Okay. She's the lady I just talked to. That's where I just came from. Right? No. No, that's not where I came from. But I hear that the Sith have defeated yet. another Republic battle fleet. I do not know how mm -hmm. much longer the Republic can last. Well, that's not good. Oi. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Okay. Move along. Move along. <laughs> okay. Everybody's playing Berserk. There's somebody everywhere. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Uh uh. I am not wagering the max. Mm -mm. How much can I afford to lose? I can afford to lose 30 credits. <laughs> ah, I see we've hit the high stakes, Pazak. I much prefer the slackers on Terrace. Oh. I guess I won't be able to do that. Okay. Let me get rid of those. Definitely want a, you know, and let's do both of the plus or minus ones. Let me add a minus two and a minus three, just in case. Uh, hmm. And let's go ahead and grab the plus four. Now let's do the plus three, because those are the ones I've tend to need more. Yep, that's the one I want to use for my side deck. I drew a one. Of course I did. Alright. Fourteen... to twenty... Uh, uh. Yeah, let me hold there for a minute. Oh, okay. That works out too. <laughs> Alright. I drew a 3, I got an 11. Yeah, I can definitely take one more hit. Um, <laughs> okay, I can definitely take one more hit. Ooh. Alright, I stand, I lose. I don't have a three. Yeah, let's try our luck. Ooh. 
19. Twenty. <laughs> Although that gets rid of my negative, and I, I, I made it this long without it. All right, eight, fifteen, and twenty. Come on, yeah! All right, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Closer than it seemed, right? Yeah, not right now. All right. Come back if you ever feel up to a game. All right. I like earning the money. So now I know where I'm going to be earning money while I'm here. Uh, hmm. I thought I saw another circle thingamajig. No, it's just that guy showing through, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. And the last door has... Why are you bothering me? I'm here mm -hmm. to speak with the council, not some servant. Alright, fine. You don't want to talk? You don't want to talk? I ain't gonna talk. Alright. Gotta keep an eye on time, too. What is in the training room? Space. And a workbench. Oh, that's right. That's fully upgraded. That's as upgraded as I can get it. I don't have access to the other ones. But I can upgrade one of the blasters. Alright, I'll wait until I can upgrade the droids. Alright. That's the training computer. I don't think I'm meant to do anything with that yet. Alright, it is 8.30, so get ready to buckle in for some ah, conversation time. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, special a member case. of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yep. Uh, sure. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Ah, uh, okay. Well, Bastila like tells me? us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. I thought I was a little old. Um, uh, nothing. We Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. <laughs> we need indisputable okay. proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both mm. know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? About as hard as it was for Luke. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, I'm not going to give him lip, so... Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions, rare exceptions. in the history of our order. But you are a special case. By strange coincidence, you are a special case. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? 
What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Mm -hmm. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. Okay. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Back to the Hawk. Uh oh. Strange dream time. Here we go. Guess I shouldn't have had that stem back before bed, huh? Uh oh. Video time. There we go. Uh oh. Dark and foreboding. If the rumors are true. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the ah, star this was before so the turn. valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No doubt. Uh, did she say anything no, she else? Didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? All right. I want you to understand, this is honesty. This, this, this is what we need between us. You got it. Night. All right, let me take you, and let me take you. Oh, and you what? would like to upgrade, good sir. Go ahead and do that real quick. Let's level you up. Ooh. All right, uh, hmm. Strength is nice, but it only helps with the melee combat. Dex would help, so I could bump the Dex up one more, and then at level 12, bump it up again. That's going to give a plus 4. Uh, Khan would help with the hit point problem. Intelligence would be nice for the skill points, but honestly, he's not my most skilled minion. So it's better to hit or better to take a hit. And yeah, let's bump up the con because I'd really like him to be able to take a hit better. Won't happen until. All right. Uh, okay. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, so reduces the penalty for characters using double-bladed weapons or two weapons, one in each hand. So negating it to everything entirely. Yes, please. Bam. Done. Absolutely. Oh, interesting. She won't level up? At least not yet. Oh good, that means I can start catching up on levels here in a minute. <laughs> Alright, uh, matter of fact, while I'm here, let's go ahead huh? and talk to you. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew no. up there and now it's... it's... it's just gone. It's gone. I'm sorry. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, yeah. you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop <laughs> Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess 
that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Nice. Yes, what's in your mind? Right. Dantooine's a boring place. It's all planes and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think Don't of. Don't hold anyway. back. Tell me what you really think. You got it. That reminds me. He's got his blaster, and I was thinking about putting Bendex blaster. She's got a heavy blaster. Oh, all right. One to eight, two to seven, plus ten, plus eleven. Yes, let's definitely get you a better blaster. Not much more I can do for that. Uh, I don't think she has improved Power Blast. Or has Power Blast anyway, so... Beats. Alright. Uh... Okay. Awareness really isn't going to help much, but the improved Power Blast should. Assuming it works as advertised. She's got an energy shield. Two of them, in fact. Will or Awareness? Doesn't really matter that much. He's got the Strength Gauntlet already equipped. He's got a military suit, so that's a plus six. Plus five. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm going to give you Davik's War Suit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody's all nice and upgraded. Alright. I really should go on the ship and talk to the other people, but given the hour... But we just talked. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh... Okay. I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. And why do you My brother so and me much? had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. She was mm -hmm. a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth Lovely. talker, and it wasn't long before oh, yeah. the two of them were Long dating. Dancer. But Lena was, was used low. to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Hmm. Yeah, insulting the brothers probably not gonna help, so let's go. I thought here. Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Uh huh. Maybe she actually I saw liked Lena him? for what she really was a busty, credit grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff Language. and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months. Hmm. Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two mm -hmm. years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Uh, yeah, sounds oh, like I he know what you. happened. As soon as she got him off Terrace, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him mm -hmm. forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm not the one you should ask about Dantooine. I didn't even know there was a Jedi Academy here. I always thought it was just a bunch of settlers and farmers. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff. Okay. Okay. Right. 
And we're going to take two steps, and Kurth is going to want to say something, right? One, two, Kurth? No, okay. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Oh, how Terrace. convenient. Lena. We were just talking about that. What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke just up passing through everyone planet? Together. Probably okay. for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. Oh. Um. Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Yeah, let's not get accusatory. Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with <laughs> us, Mission. I even offered to pay for the your ticket. Spawn, huh? Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. Mm. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck your bridge oh. on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Uh, hmm. Is he worse? Is he better? Do we distrust the lady friend? Uh, let's try something Think about better. It. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Yeah. Hey. If you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's like better off without be, you uh, anyway, you table dancing in my near travel plans. Wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Aww. The Cap Hounds have been very active of late. The okay. settlers feel they are becoming more dangerous. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Move along. Right. Can I catch up and have another conversation? Nope. Okay. Let's go see a man about a Jedi. Or about some Jedi training. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more um, than we first suspected. If maybe Revan a little bit more than perhaps. Something there. Uh, I'm worried that she already knows about it, but let's go ahead and go with they seem to be searching or something. The shared dream to the council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The force sort is a dream and another dream. As it acts through Bastila. I got to work on my singing voice. Uh Am I having visions right now? No, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be that kind of guy. Let's you trust and in the greater wisdom. share a powerful connection to the force and each other. This is not unheard of. Oh. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely oh. does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead. We cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here Sorry, to us. Sorry, I try to keep my family under rating. I've got uh, I've got some jokes. All right. Uh... You and she are linked, <laughs> as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. 
But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Uh, I Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or <laughs> us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down well, like I guess animals, some of them have ambushing also turned. and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced okay. the dark side, yep. giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Alright, uh... The Force flows this. through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send mm. you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Doomed to fail. As you wish. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many can One do training years. montage and uh, I'm suddenly... I am honored to welcome you fully into the okay. Jedi Order. Soon your the apprenticeship hand of plot will end appears to be guiding and you will me. be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself prove worthy. Yourself worthy. Right. What In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master complete to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. What kind of tests These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, mental, both mental and physical. physical. Upon completing okay. these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan, to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Alright. Uh, let's do a quick refresher and then see if I can't. All right. Beginning training orientation. Welcome sentient is important for the peace and harmony of all beings. Let the many paths of the Jedi Order be understood. Only through f knowledge can all see the truth of the Force. Uh, Jedi Guardian, strength for battle, physical prowess. 
Counselors may master the awesome power of the force and sentinels try to find a balance. Okay. I already know that I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, Consular. Because they are pretty middle of the road. That Oh, well. Low skill progression, fast feet progression. Hmm. Maybe it was Sentinel. Average skill progression, slow feet. Maybe not. Okay, so the Guardian, heavy on life, low on the force. The Consular was a little bit lower on the life, heavy on the force, and the Sentinel. Uh, so it's going to be between the Sentinel and the Consular. Sentinels. Average skills, slow feet. And the counselors, slow skill, slow feet. Yeah. Gonna be either the counselor or the sentinel. I thought that would have given me the Greetings, my answers young to the force question, though. Your progress the has question, been though. most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue yeah. your training in the ways of the Jedi? Yes, I am ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the time in the traditions and customs. These ready tests for the test. will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given. Both first, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. You must now prove you have a Jedi. There is no emotion. Uh, there is no emotion. There is. That is not correct, Apprentice. Nope. There is no shame in it. Return when you feel you are... I thought there was something over here that gave you the answers to those questions. And I thought it was the training computer. It is apparently not the computer. If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. Hmm. Greetings, my young. All right. Uh, Soon you're in the tradition. These first, the you must now. There is. There is no motion. There that is, is not correct. No. There is return. Greetings. Uh, so in the tradition, these the test. first you must. There is no emotion. There is no motion. That there is, is not. No. There is return. Greeting. <laughs> I know. I I could have sworn that there was a computer that had the answers that ran you through the Jedi code. Uh, Soon you're up in the tradition. These first you must. There is no. There's that force. is not. There no. is return. Are you kidding me? Greetings, my. In the tradition. These I'm ready first, for the you must not. There is no. Because it wasn't light. It wasn't serenity. It wasn't knowledge. It wasn't the force. That is not correct. What? There is return. Greetings, my. I thought that was all the answers. Soon in the tradition. These first, you must. There is. Ah. Forgot about peace and harmony down at the bottom. There is no emotion. There is there peace. There is no ignorance. There is no ignorance. There is ooh, knowledge of the force. There Ouch. is no passion. 
There, all right, so either going to be peace or serenity. Uh, let's do serenity. There is no chaos. There is... Harm. There is no death. There is... The force. You have learned your studies well, we apprentice. Okay. It will not be long before you are a full <laughs> I've learned it well. I can order. guess randomly but first, a few times. you must pass the second test okay. and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. All right. Mr. Dorak. Nope. There we go. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color, of your, the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Yeah. Unless you're Samuel L. Jackson. Then you get to pick whatever color you want. Uh, what Blue positions are is there? is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles yeah. against the forces of more evil on the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Mm -hmm. Indeed, we shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class which you class? lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now hmm. for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. <laughs> I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final the question. The final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Hmm. This is where I do want to double check. Because basically, I want the one that's got the best balance between combat and non-combat. So, let me... Pull up. Um, all right, do a quick search. See if I can find. Open into a new tab. Er, no, okay. Out. Scoundrel. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, 
Jedi Guardians are... Again, Force Jump automatically. Combat Training. They have no skills. Alright, the Jedi Sentinel strike a balance between the physical and mental. Community of fear, always nice. And the counselors focus less on physical and more on mental. Okay. So it looks like I could do. Hmm. I could do the counselor. But I think the sentinel is going to be my best bet. Let me see if I get a better... Uh, I know I looked this up before and I didn't realize I'd get this far today. Otherwise I would have had it done better. Uh... Okay. Guardian, Jedi class, similar to soldiers, also have the lowest force points per level, start out with force jump. Counselors have slow feet and skill progression, average vitality and high force points, start off with force focus, and get bonus focus powers some levels. The Sentinels have the average feet progression, slow skill protection, average vitality and force points. Uh, looks like I'm going to be a sentinel. Yeah, let's... To the sentinel. Here is a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on in how to construct it. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now to start cranking up the levels. Uh, I've only got three points to play with, so let's bump up that treat injury score. <laughs> Okay. And feats, I got weapons proficiency, lightsaber, Jedi defense, force immunity, fear, Jedi sense, force sensitive. Nice. All right, and... Oh, I didn't realize I hadn't taken a second level of dueling. All right, that's probably gonna level up as I go. That's probably going to level up as I go. That's probably going to level up as I go. Not the melee weapons, lightsaber. So I can get a plus one attack. If I keep to just the single, single-bladed saber, that gives me a plus two to attack and a plus two to defense. Low. Started down that one too. And I could finish the two weapon fighting and do either a double bladed weapon or two single weapons. That means I give up the plus one to attack and defense that I've been getting from this. Uh, that bumps it up to plus three each. So do I want to double down on the dueling or the two weapons? Dueling or two weapons? That is an interesting question. So far I've been playing mostly with the dueling because it gives me the best advantage as far as attack and defense. 
because it bumps up attack and defense. Uh, but the two weapons could improve defense by killing them faster. And that is that is a very valid strategy for improving defense is just kill them all quicker and uh, <laughs> you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, let's double check and make sure there's nothing else more pressing because I'm not... All right, I'm not taking caution because a plus one to demolitions and stealth is not worth it. I'm not taking critical strike. Uh, yeah, no. Not taking critical strike. Not going to bump my persuade and awareness. I cannot move flurry up one more. Not to level eight. Gearhead's not worth it. Conditioning could be worth it. Plus one bonus to all saving throws. That tree might not be so bad. I cannot get implant level three until eight. I could up the improved power attack, which is always nice. That increases the damage with the same minus three to hit. Uh, which could be very useful. I've been getting a lot of use out of power attack. And Power Blast, Rapid Shot. That's right, I originally picked that up as part of uh, as part of the other stuff. I'm not going to bother with the rifle or the blaster or any of that. Yeah, no, the plus one attack bonus is not worth the feat, especially if I'm going to do the dueling. And as much as I'd love to dual wield and get in that extra attack with the extra weapon. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the dueling because that will benefit both my attack and defense. Ooh, I get to pick two powers. Alrighty then. Um, hmm. Here is always nice. Having some sort of healing ability is always, always nice. Force Aura. Plus two bonus to defense. And all saving throws. Also nice. Burst of speed. Sounds good, but I'm not feeling it. Uh, ooh, that's right. And Force Aura is restricted by armor. But Cure is not. So I could actually keep my armor and keep my defense high like that. And still take Cure. Ditto for energy resistance. Affect Mind. Ooh. That'll give me some extra conversation options. So, you know, let's do that. Let's go ahead and take Affect Mind and Cure. I'm not taking any of the dark side powers. Uh, I, I could take some of the stuns. I could also take uh, throw a throw lightsaber, but uh, I might pick that up later. <laughs> I could also take Dominate Mind right now too, couldn't I? Because I am character level 6. Dominate my once a Jedi has his power. Extra options appear in conversations as appropriate. Dominate Mind is more powerful than Effect Mind, and very few beings can resist its effect. This power does not affect droids. Only the main character can select. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no. I'll go ahead and I'll take uh, Cure and add that. Okay. Except. And actually, now, <laughs> now that I've picked my class and all that, uh, I can also take care of some of these other levels that I've had chilling around. <laughs> so, let's bump up computer use, demolitions, and repair. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's take... Ooh, force push could be nice. Force push is not restricted by armor. Also nice. Stun would be nice to have. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that dominate mine. Oh, oh, yep. Add. Okay. Accept and level up. And what was I trying to bump up? Uh, not strength. Dexterity is up. I really would like a higher constitution. Because extra hit points are always nice. Intelligence is good, but it doesn't really help beyond skill points. I can do wisdom and charisma. Wisdom helps the willpower. Oh, that's right. I was going to pop up charisma one more. Because uh, that will help me with both the force powers and the persuade. Skills. The usual suspects. Okay. Beats. I would like two. A left and a right. <laughs> Alright, master dueling. Absolutely. Ooh. That could be nice, too. Oh, no, that's the melee. Yeah, let's max this tree out first. So that's a plus three to attack and plus three to defense. Yes, please. And what powers do I want now? I get one more. Let me go ahead and throw... Throw lightsaber is always nice. It's not a lot of damage. But... It is guaranteed damage. Guaranteed damage can be very nice. I'm not doing force suppression. I'm not doing drain life. Those are all dark. Well, force suppression is a universal power. That is an option too. Force push is still on the agenda. Yeah, let's go ahead and start up the force push tree. Okay. Except level up skills. Let me get that treat injury back up and do the computer use and repair. And force whirlwind encircles the target victim in a small maelstrom of air and dust, inflicting one third of the attacking character's level and damage every two seconds. And rendering them unable to take any action. Ooh. Yes, please. Okay. Accept. Is that all my levels? That's all my levels. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's still a lot of talking to do. Still a lot of stuff to do with people. So I think I'm going to go ahead and save it and call it a night because it's about 20 minutes past when I was really hoping to finish. But I got kind of wrapped up in that leveling bit. So do I sure you want to save the game? Yes. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is where I thank you all for joining me. Hope you had fun. Every Thursday night, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, we play Games Revisited. We're working through Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. And if the rumors are true, there may be a trilogy getting filmed uh, based off of this game using the Darth Revan storyline. That could be fun. Definitely worth catching up on what's going on with the game, or what went on in the game, what's going on with the lore, so we can see how they're going to disappoint us in not adapting the material. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, I really hope, I wish I was just joking and being funny, but that is distinctly possible. But uh, given the directors that are rumored to be on board, they have a good history of adapting source material from other places onto the big screen. See the uh, most recent Cord Killers episode for a little more discussion along those lines. And uh, if you like games and you want to hear more of... Uh, more of what's going on, I also play World of Tanks on Fridays as a part of the 47%. 
showing how we make the top half possible. That starts about 7 p.m. And on Tuesdays, we play Coffee Craft on the Coffee Craft Minecraft on the Coffee Craft server, and that also starts at 7 p.m. And all the archives for all three game streams are on the YouTube channel. If you are watching this on the YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate. You know, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, because that really helps the channel get started. And uh, thank you all very much.